Alright, um, I'm going to teach you guys how I did my experiment for how to loop the loop. Um, so the first thing we need to do is you need to make a loop. So you get your foam pipe insulation, get your tape measure, and you insert the tape measure through the loop like this, and you measure it out to where you want it. And the first one that I want is actually 12 inches. So down here I already have a loop that's already made, as you can see. And the first thing they need to do is figure out the run. So you take your little tape measure, you set it down where the thing is, and you measure it out, just like this. So once you figure out how long you want the run to be, which mine was 30 inches, you need to pick a height. So you can pick any random height that you want. I um, just picked whatever one. You take your tape measure, and then you measure out how much you want it. This one looks like it's um, 26 inches. So you take your pencil, Mark it down. With your notebook, you need to write down the actual um, loop diameter. This loop diameter is 12 inches. So you write down 12 inches, and you write down the height that you started at. So you get your little marble. You go over here, and you run the marble down the height that you chose 10 times. So you run it down. That went through. So you just do that 10 more times, and you write down how many times it goes in and how many times it doesn't. And the purpose is to try to find for each loop diameter the lowest possible height that you can go to that still has a high success rate. So as you can see, I have a different one here. What I did actually was I changed the loop diameter. For this one, you have to change the loop diameter and you have to do this process more than once. So again, I make the loop. I get the run to be the same one as I did for the first. I get my marble and then I pick a height. I measure it out. And all you have to do is write down the loop diameter, what height you decided to start at, take your marble, run it down. That one didn't go through, so you'd write that down as a no. So what you just keep doing is you keep adjusting the size of the loop. You keep making different loop sizes. You can go by different numbers, by threes, fives, whatever. All you have to do, pick a run, measure it out, write it down. Pick the size of the loop that you want, the diameter, write it down. Pick a height and then measure that out and figure out how high it is, run the marble down at 10 times, and then depending on the results that you get, adjust it. If it goes through most of the time, you're probably going to want to lower it. And if it goes through the, not as much, you're probably going to want to heighten it. Just find the lowest possible height where the marble goes through more times than it doesn't. Just complete this process and you just keep going through this and just adjusting and making different size diameters. And that is how you do this project. Thank you for watching.